Hey, how are you? How's everything? How's everything going good. on in China now? Good, good, good. Uh, well, the coronavirus situation, you you know, you know it. Um, other, other than that, everything's okay. How are you? How is everything in Germany? Yeah, it's good. It's good. The lockdown, of course, is there. Today, it was snowing as well. So it's a bit cold, I would say. Nice, but, nice. Uh, in general, yeah, I mean, working from home. And everything is at home. Although mm. there's some possibility to go outside to go to the supermarket or something like that. But uh, yeah, that's the way it is. But how's everything going on with you? Are you currently working at home or is it uh, still allowed to be there by some, uh, some uh, I would say that measures, precautionary measures? Yeah. Mm. I mean, the situation just getting more tricky in last since la, last week but before la, last week we all uh, went to office to work uh, but last week here here in shanghai there, there were a few new cases identified i mean local cases yeah, which made people quite nervous and uh, now the local government is encouraging people to uh, i mean because chinese new year is coming uh, but but it's better to avoid traveling uh, during this period, uh, considering the risk, the the virus spread, spreading uh, is coming back. So now, uh, now, um, now the, the the company also they encourage uh, like or encourage all, all allow uh, employees who who like to work from home to work from home. And uh, tra- traveling wise, the local governments encourage people to stay where they are uh, during Chinese New Year and not travel much. Yes, okay. Uh, uh, I would say that the whole world is in, in a bad situation. I hope mm. that mm. it will mm. get over, or we will all get over it soon. Uh, let's Hopefully, see. Yes. Uh, hmm? Hopefully, yes. Yes. And maybe for the audience, that would be uh, nice that to know that what did you study? I mean, where did you start? And uh, especially when you get out of China to study abroad, and now you're back uh, to China to work there. I mean, uh, right. yeah, a bit background mm. from yourself. Yeah, yeah. Mm, we we came to know each other in Germany. Uh, yes. Like more than six years ago, I guess. But before that, I I have been in Australia for two years, starting uh, the last two years of my bachelor there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I started uh, when I was in uh, when I was starting bachelor in China. My degree, my major is something about uh, information technology, optical information technology, something related mm-hmm. to fiber. Oh, I see. Uh, no, that I didn't know. <laughs> I really didn't. Did I? I didn't tell you. Okay. No, no. Uh, then, then, well, when I was in o- Australia, I started to be interested in, in wireless communication technique. Mm. At that time, mm, those topics is, uh, was related to LT uh, 4G technique. Uh, then I continued uh, my master in Germany, uh, same as uh, you. Which university? The- you were studying in the Australia. In Australia, Australian Australian National University in, in Canberra. And how did you find that? I mean, the environment there. I would say that the whole season is reversed than the north part of the earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How it, did you it, find it? Uh, that that had been quite interesting experience. Um, I mean, study wise, it was interesting, and also the different uh, people and uh, dif- different uh, like environments or the different a- a- and the weather the the season as you said is uh, totally different and it was quite interesting uh, w- especially w- when I traveled b- between China and Australia I always need to carry the clothes like you know uh, for the next or for for, for the other season. And it's, it's quite easy. It was quite easy to get cold <laughs> when you travel uh, between China and Australia. Yes. Mm, yeah. And then uh, how did you decide to come to Germany? I mean, why did you decide that? Well, uh, I, th- I think 
to a large part because I I have never been to I had never been to Europe at that time, and it was somehow to me um, interesting to know like how Europe looks like, how real Europe looks like, and uh, uh, and Avitih University is a famous university. Mm. That's why, uh, mm. yeah. Although I didn't know German at all, but luckily mm. they offered uh, the uh, branch taught in English, so it was good chance. Yes, and also there was a program for, I guess, for all of us to learn German until B one. Yes, yes, until B one, and yeah, my German stayed B one. <laughs> And uh, okay, then uh, you came to Germany to study in communication engineering. I mean, that's mm -hmm. what we both are studying, and we were classmates there. Mm -hmm. And how did you find Germany? Uh, especially, I would say that the level of the courses compared to the Australia or China. Of course, I know that I know that you have a lot of friends in different countries. And most of our classmates are spread around the world, I would say. And mm -hmm. yeah, it would be uh, nice, I guess, for the audience also to know that. What, how did you find the difference between this uh, structure of the courses in different countries? Uh, that is a good question. Uh, the, 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 the whole design uh, of university, how they offer lectures organize exams uh for students is, are, are quite different i mean it's it's, it's hard to tell which one is better but but they're, they're quite different and the universities in china we you used to take a lot of uh subjects per semester and uh, uh a lot of uh homework task mm -hmm. to do uh, after lecture and we have exams, we have midterm exams and uh, final exams for for, for the semester. Uh, but but uh, but the, the education maybe because I only uh, took the first two years of my bachelor in, in China, so all, all those le lectures are quite theoretical. Uh, uh, it's about mathematics, it's about uh, uh, physics, uh, basics. So so those are quite fundamental and theoretical uh, but then then in Australia they we only took for a per semester usually one student only take four or five uh, subjects per per semester uh, but that doesn't mean it's easy uh, because besides the exams they have uh, due during the semester they, they have a small mini projects and essays or uh, and that would at the end count for like 70 or say 60 to 70 percent of your mm. uh, final grade so you need to uh, put quite some effort on it uh, that, that 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 actually makes it quite hard to get a, a good good grade if you mm. want uh, in, in Germany it's it's I would say it's more like the uh, how it works in China. So uh, your, your grade uh, to large part rely on your exam grade. And uh, you, yeah, uh, but, 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 but in Germany, I found those courses or th those uh, subjects quite uh, practical and uh, maybe may because of it is uh, designed for a master student. So it, it's closer to the real world problem. Mm -hmm. uh, which I found is quite uh, practical and uh, interesting. Yeah, and one one thing quite unique for for uh, subjects in German, they can offer you oral exams, not like the other yeah. uh, writing exams. You you can choose all the professor can offer uh, oral exams, uh, which means the student will spend uh, twenty minutes around time with the professor and professor simply ask you a question and you need to give an answer in seconds. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that was... uh, th 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 those tests are quite interesting. Uh, 
I mean, th those are not uh, usually those questions are not very uh, difficult. Uh, it is more to test your understanding of some some concepts. Uh, but you will feel very embarrassed if you don't know or you yeah. say something very, very stupid and, and the professor will look like you uh, think think again <laughs> and you were like uh, <laughs> did I do something wrong yeah I mean the amount of pressure is, is a bit higher than the written exam um, yes but I mean at the end it, it Yes. It depends on the professor, that's how they actually want to evaluate your skills or your understanding. There was mm. one case I remember that the professor also gave me the written question. So I needed to design mm. the test for it. That was, I guess, for DSP exam. You didn't take DSP. Right? No, no, I didn't. But for multimedia, you took multimedia. Yes, yes. That, multimedia that was, was also, nightmare. <laughs> yeah, that was a hard exam, I would say. I mean, the amount of information that you needed to memorize. I would say that the written exam for the multimedia was nearly impossible <laughs> to solve. I mean, the amount of information that we needed to learn. But yeah, yeah. even if you remember, the professor gave us a chance to choose a card. And yes, yes, right. Yeah, you have to pray that's okay, which card you take and then whenever you see the card, it was your chance that you know everything from the card or nothing. Exactly, exactly. I I remember I feel actually I, I feel shameful for myself after that exam. <laughs> but yeah. I, but I forgot to ask the professor to fail me and so I can take another chance to have a better grade, but <laughs> Uh, I was uh, like too embarrassed at that time. I just, you know, we wish everything just finished. Uh, let me leave the room. I would say for multimedia, for most of the students, it was the case. Almost for all of the students, they wanted to just be over. <laughs> that, that was the only things. But, but then uh, the master in Germany, I would say that we passed a lot of courses. So uh, in that case, in the case of communication, engineering technology, we had a lot of opportunities and direction to go for, like antenna yeah. design, this mobile communication, multimedia, or even acoustic. I don't know if you took the acoustic course, I didn't take that. Uh, yes, I did. Mm. Oh, you also did the acoustic yeah, yeah. virtual. It was acoustic yeah. virtual reality, I would say, right? Uh, acoustic visual reality? I forgot the name, uh, yes. but I guess there, there, there was only one institute offer that course. Yes. But uh, yeah, which direction did you choose at the time? At that time? Uh, yes. For your future career, I mean, when you finish your studying? And... Uh, I, I think, uh, how, how to say? um not really i'm um, but for for from all the, those courses most courses i took uh, were about uh, network protocol wireless communication uh, basics mm. so that was when i uh at, at least for myself i found them quite interesting and also um because i found internship in, in ericsson in my uh, master thesis there um, uh, that was when I started to really started diving into wireless communication world that was first time I come across uh, studies research about uh, 5g uh, 